Hi, this is Jim with uh, CableSupply.com and um, today we're going to talk about how to use a uh, punch down tool and also how to cable uh, an RJ45 Cat6 uh, jack. As you can see this is a keystone jack that uh, goes into the wall plates um, that you use. In fact in this case it's a Cat5e jack it says right there. Uh, Cat5, Cat6 and Cat5e uh, will have the same type of setup and will work the same way. We'll, they will almost look identical. Uh, they're just rated uh, differently. But uh, this is a 110 punch down, so the wires will go between there. First thing we're going to do is show you how to strip a wire. Uh, and this is important because if you don't strip it right, you can nick the wire and it could cause problems. Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to cut off a small piece of the out uh, the exterior um, cable. You just want to see you want to try as hard as you can not to nick the cable that's underneath, and it will just pull right off as soon as you do it. There you go. And you have your different sets of twisted pair. You'll have four sets. Now notice also that there's a string. So first thing you want to do is you're going to pull down on the string to reveal more of the cable. So when you pull down on there, you want to pull it apart and then you want to cut off uh, the part that was revealed earlier. So you want to cut off that, that little one inch or two inch that you cut off. And the reason you do this is you possibly could have nicked those. Where if you're pulling down on the string, there is no possibility of nicking the cables at all. So you separate the pairs. Again, you have four pairs, eight conductors. That's what Ethernet uh, calls for that's what an RJ45 uh, is and that's what Cat5e and Cat6 require okay so now I have the uh, cables. I'm going to untwist the minimum amount of cable possible I'm going to make it as tight as possible as close to the twist as I can just going to set them in there right now each of the, the, the four pairs again in telecommunications uh, we always discuss things in pairs um, not in single wires. So you're going to put it down right there. And it will generally stay in place until you have a chance to punch it down. Now let me I'm going to show you how tight that is. The tighter you can keep those twists all the way up to the end, the better off it is and the better it will work. Now I'll punch it down. And you notice, you know, I'm going to turn the blade towards you so you can see that I'm using the cutting uh, side of the blade um, right there. You see it's the cutting side that's actually doing the cut. Notice that one side of the blade is a little bit longer than the other. Let me get this in focus right there. And that's the cutting uh, blade right there, the cutting side. So in this case, this time we're going to turn it over and the cutting blade is going to go this way. You want to follow the diagram on the jacks. Different manufacturers have different diagrams, but just follow the colors. It's right underneath the uh, Right underneath the, uh, in there you're going to see the diagram that tells you how to put the wires in. And again, different manufacturers have different settings. As long as it's uh, rated at what it's rated at, that's what it's going to be good for, Cat, uh, Cat 5E. Uh, and of course when you're all done you want to put the caps on. And you use pliers to push them down if you want. It works just as well. And that's how you cable CAF IV. Um, notice on this that it's it's nice and tight there. You, you don't want a lot of l loose wires hanging out because then you will lose your rating. It won't work as well. And these caps need to be pushed down as hard as you can. And then of course it being a keystone will snap right into a wall jack. Let me show you how. And here is a uh, keystone jack uh, faceplate. Um, you know the bolts to the wall you can see it there and on the back it will have 
it will say up. You can see it. You want to keep that in the up position. And then when you attach your cable, your cable, uh, I mean your jack should be in the up position. Notice that the um, that the uh, the conductors there are always protected from dust. So dust is coming down on them like this. You, they don't the dust and the dirt never gets on it. So the conductors are always on the upside of the jack. And what you do is you, you uh, snap it in like this. See how it goes right in just like that. It snaps right in. Looks good. Uh, when you put this back on the wall and you attach the other end, it must, it, mess, it must be certified. It cannot just be put on the wall and plugged in. You're going to have some problems unless you uh, check it with a tester. So I always encourage you to have even a minimal tester that checks pin out. But if you use CAF IV jacks, use CAF IV cable, and use CAF IV patch panel, it should certify with no problem at all, up to 100 meters, which is uh, a little less than 300 feet. Thank you for watching our video today on how to uh, punch down an RJ45 CAT 5E or CAT 6 uh, computer jack. And uh, please visit our website to see other products we have and other uh, video uh, training materials we have. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us. Again, my name is Jim with CableSupply.com.